Here we have a chord of a circle. So, you know, it's a line that cuts the circle at two points. The longest chord of a circle is actually the diameter of the circle. Anyway, C is the center of the circle, and we are going to draw a line from C perpendicular to this chord. So I will call this line H, so you can see it's drawn perpendicular to the chord. Now we are going to prove that this line H actually bisects this chord. So we're going to prove that the distance from this point to this point here, which I'm calling D, equals the distance from this point here to this point here, which I'm calling E. So to do this proof, we join C to the end points of the chord. So we have these two dotted lines, which are radii of this circle. So the two dotted lines have the same length, which I'm calling R. Now by construction, we have two right angled triangles formed, because this line was drawn perpendicular to the chord. So let's look at this right angled triangle here. We know from Pythagoras' theorem that the square of the longest side, r squared in this case, equals the sum of the squares of the two short sides, that is h squared plus d squared. Similarly, from this right angled triangle here, we see the square of the hypotenuse, r squared, equals the sum of the squares of the two short sides, that is h squared plus e squared. Now we want to prove that d equals e, so we can rearrange this to make d squared the subject, and we can rearrange this equation to make e squared the subject. So rearranging this one here, we get uh, d squared equals r squared minus h squared. We just bring the h squared over. And similarly for this one here, bring the h squared over. We see that e squared is also equal to r squared minus h squared. So both d squared and e squared are equal to the same thing, namely r squared minus h squared. In other words, d squared must be equal to e squared. And if you get the square roots, that means that e equals d. And that's the end of the proof.